For this tutorial you will need your selected yarn, I'm using Starcraft Special DK in the colour Storm Blue. You will need a pair of scissors to cut off your ends, a darning needle to sew in your ends and for this particular yarn I'm using a 5mm but you can use whichever hook suits your yarn, just have a look on your yarn label. You want to begin by making your slip knot and you can do this whichever way you prefer. And we're going to start off by making our foundation chain. And this particular foundation chain is going to work in multiples of two. So you want to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. That's two chains. And you want to keep on doing two chains until you reach the length of work that you want or the width of work that you want. So if you're doing a scarf, for example, Continue doing your chains in multiples of two until you uh, reach the width of the scarf or a blanket, etc. So pause the video, work your multiples of two and then come back to me when you're ready. So I've now done my chain and I did a chain of 20. And what you want to do here is whatever uh, length of chain you've done, you now want to add another chain. So the chain should be a multiple of two plus one for turning. Now what we're going to do is work our way back along this chain and we're going to do a double crochet into each of the chains. We're not going to go into this first one here, we're going to work into the second chain from the hook. So you want to insert your hook into that chain, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook, grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. You would then do the same in the next chain, insert the hook, Grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through both of the loops on the hook. Continue to do this all the way along your chain. Pause the video and meet me back once you've reached the end. So I've now come to the end of my chain and we're going to make a start on our next row. So what you want to do is chain two, one, two and turn your work. And now we're going to be starting to work our puff stitches. And obviously we want to make these puff stitches be more in a zigzag rather than going directly up. So we're not going to work into the bottom of this chain here. We're going to skip the next stitch and we're going to work into the third stitch. So this is our first one right at the bottom of our chain. Then our second one, we're going to be working into the third stitch. So what we want to do is go ahead and put our hook straight into that third stitch, grab the yarn and pull it through, but what we want to do is just pull up on our chain just slightly, just to make it to the height of this chain two that we've done already. We then want to yarn over, insert our hook into the same chain, grab the yarn and pull through. You'll now have four loops on the hook, yarn over again, insert your hook into the same space, grab the yarn and pull through and pull up a little bit when you're doing these just to make this into your puff stitch and you'll now have one, two, three, four, five, six chains on your hook. You're going to grab the yarn and pull through all six of those chains and then chain one to secure that puff stitch. We're now going to skip the next stitch and do exactly the same thing into the one after. So straight into the second stitch along, grab the yarn, pull it through, pull up on your stitch to pull that loop up a little bit more, yarn over, insert into the same space, yarn over, pull through and then pull up, you'll have four loops on the hook, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, you'll have six loops on the hook, grab the yarn, pull through all six loops and then yarn over and pull through so it's a chain one in order to secure that into place. I'll just show you that once more. So we're going to skip a stitch and go into the next one. Insert your hook into that stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through and just pull up on the loop slightly. Grab the yarn, insert, yarn over, pull through. You'll have four loops on the hook. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. You'll have six loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through all six loops and then chain one to secure. 
So you're going to do that method all the way along this chain. You'll end up with your last bobble being in your second to last stitch. So pause the video and meet me back on your very last bobble and I'll show you how to move on to your next row. So I'm now at the end of this row and I'm just doing my last puff stitch. So I'm just going to do exactly the same as what we've been doing previously. And then you should be left with one chain right at the very end. And that is correct. So what we're going to do in this chain is a half treble crochet. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the chain, catching those two loops, grab the yarn, pull it through, you'll have three loops on the hook, and then grab the yarn and pull through all three loops on the hook. And that is your first row done. So what we want to do now is chain two and turn the work. And we are pretty much going to do the same um, for this row in terms of stitches as the last row, but it's just a matter of where you're going to work your stitches. So we're not going to work anything into this very first space just here. We're actually going to be working in between the two popcorn stitches. If I pull this out, you can see that there is um, two spaces in between. This first space just here is actually part of this stitch. So we're going to be working into the second space a lot, just here. So you want to insert your hook straight into that space, grab the yarn and pull it through and then pull up your loop. And then we're just going to do exactly the same that we've been doing before. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through. You'll have four loops on the hook, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, you'll have six loops on the hook. Grab the yarn and pull through all six of those loops and then chain one to secure that stitch. So again, just like the last row, we're going to do this all the way along this row. So we're moving into this space just here, go straight into that space and then do your puff stitch. So working until you have six loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops, and then grab the yarn and pull through. So pause the video and work that all the way along to the very end. Again, I shall meet you back in this very last stitch just here and show you how to move on to your next row and what your work should be looking like. So I've just come to the end here and I'm just about to work my last stitch in this very last space just here. So again, as normal, what we've been doing all along this pattern. So now we're left with the very last stitch and what we're going to do is do a half treble crochet into the chain two, the top of the chain two of this um, chain two that we did at the beginning. So I'm just going to yarn over, insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, you'll have three loops on the hook and then yarn over, pull through all three loops on the hook. And then again, just as we did before, we are just going to chain two, turn the work, and then we are just repeating what we've done for the last row. So we're not working into this space just here, we're actually working into this space here. So you continue that until you have as many rows as you desire and you'll end up with this beautiful pattern where the puff stitches are going from one way to the other. So it's your crisscross puff stitch. I'm just going to do a few more rows just so you can see what it starts to build up like. So this is my pattern as I've done a few more rows just so you can see what it looks like. Um, and I just wanted to point out the importance of these uh, puff stitches. If you start off um, fairly loose with them and get tighter or start off tight and get loose you can just see the difference so I deliberately did mine looser at the beginning and then started to do them a bit tighter just so that you could see so try and be consistent with how much um, or how big you are doing your puff stitches and that comes at the section where you are lifting your um, hook or pulling your yarn through in order to make these particular stitches but that is the zigzag puff stitch tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to keep up to date with any of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!